What's going on, Jerome's? This is it. This is it. It's the final practice. Da -da -da -da. It's final. We talk about practice. That's right. The, it's the final training camp open to the public as the Minnesota Fighting Vikings Denver Broncos get together for joint practice number dos uh, as ahead of their preseason game on Saturday afternoon. So uh, we're going to recap and talk and blah, 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 and blah, 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 blah. Even though it's great to have football back, get a little tired of practice. That's right. That's right. So first up. They start off with special teams drills. Uh, Kenny Nwangu, KJ Osborne had some very nice reps returning kicks. I think that Nwangu will eventually win the starting kick return job. I think he's just too damn explosive not to get him on the field, and everyone's been raving about him. Dalvin, Candy Palomalu, uh, Ryan Thicken. So, yeah, I think Kenny, uh, Kenny will eventually win the job. Uh, Eric Smith, Abdullah gets first rep at kick return for full team drill. Broncos kick off. Da, da, da. Yeah, and Wangu is just doing the work. I, I love Ken man. Like he, I think that he has a chance to be a really special player. And if you can get him in Dynasty, like if you're into fancy football, grab him. Grab him. Next up. First live rep of today's practice is Kirk Cousins slightly overthrowing Adam Thielen deep. Thielen had gotten a step on Patrick Sertain in the second, which is not easy, man. I mean, Sertain is good to go. Uh, also, oh, so Patrick Sertain has a necklace of a PS2 controller, and it says PS2 on it. Patrick Sertain the second. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That's amazing. That is amazing. Uh, you don't see Cousins miss many of those. Yeah, so Kirk Cousins, for all of his faults, uh, is one of the better deep ball quarterbacks in the game. So, yeah, the fact that he missed the in there kind of sucks. Anyway. Uh, Vikings defensive line, they've been smothering the run uh, all damn training camp, uh, their own run, except for Dalvin Cook, as well as uh, up against the Broncos, which is good to see. Uh, fortunately, uh, Mike Boone got dinged up today as well. We'll get into that. Shutting it down. Broncos run a lot of outside zone as well. Stupid Melvin Gordon and stupid Badgers. That's right. That's right. Uh, Jake Browning throws an interception after Dan Chisena slips on his route. Oh, Dan Jacena, what the heck, man? Left him out to dry. Pick six, please. Please. Uh, wide receiver screen to Adam Thielen. That's what we want to see more of. Wide receiver squ screens, running back screens. Uh, they worked a little bit with Dalvin today. Ooh, there you go, Adam Thielen. Get it going, Detroit Lakes go crazy. That's right. Mankato State University Community College right there. Right there. Next up, Ezra Cleveland falls awkwardly after. Yeah, just more Vikings health issues up front. Great. After a nice Alexander Madison run. And we got some words being exchanged between teams. So pushing but no real brawl. Get the F out of there. I uh, yells Phil Rauscher to his guys. I, I love Phil Rauscher, man. We're so the Vikings and the Broncos have gotten after it a little bit. I mean, it, it is hot. They are getting, um, yeah, they are fighting for jobs out there. I, I understand it. But uh, I, I do like that Rauscher is a rah rah football guy. But he understands the difference between. Standing up for your teammates and getting after it and then just being stupid, right? Because, you know, in, in one of these situations, someone's going to take a swing at someone with a helmet. Someone's going to break a hand. Someone's going to do something stupid. You don't need any of that. So uh, aggression is good, but controlled aggression. Yeah, I think Phil. Ra I love Phil Rauscher. I, I, I think he's going to be great. Next up, Wyatt Davis has got the moves like Jagger. That's right. Right guard Wyatt Davis. What up? Getting second level. Uh, it, he's a great combination of size as well as uh, mobility where he's not going to be a liability outside zone scheme. Ohio State ran a ton of outside zone. Uh, he was the right guard when J.K. Dobbins ran for 2,000 yards in 2019. So I'm really bullish on the future of Wyatt Davis, whether it's a guard, whether it's at center, whatever. I don't care. Just get him out there. Blake Brandle replaced Rashad Hill at left tackle with the starters. Yeah, Rashad Hill has not been the picture of health. And I'm glad that Darisaw had this minor procedure. It's only minor when it's someone else's groin. Uh, but, I mean, Rashad Hill may not even be ready for the season. Like, he's been so dinged up from time to time. But, yeah, Blake Brandle, uh, the 2020 uh, six-round pick out of Oregon State, he, he played uh, some decent reps out here. Yeah, they're, they're going to have to figure something out because I don't – I, I'm not ready to bet that Darisaw is going to be ready week one, but they need contingency plans just in case Rashad Hill is not the guy. A running back screen to Dalvin Cook. We, we need more of these. Like, where have all the running back screens gone? It feels like it's been since 2017. Jarek McKinnon and Latavius Murray, the Afro, uh, ironically, Pat Shermer, who's now the, the Broncos offensive coordinator. Like, where have they all gone? We need to see more of these. Just getting the ball in the hands of Dalvin Cook and Madison and Kenan Wongu. Let's see it. Come on. Uh, speaking of Nwangu, 
bashing down inside the 10. That's right. Get in. Get in. Get in. I love watching him run. 26 is a great choice of number because he, he does sort of remind me of Robert Smith. Where yeah, you know, tall, upright runner, you know, kind of like Eric Dickerson, long strider. God, it's good. I'm really excited about him. Next up, Chad Graff. No surprise that he's doing well, but Eric Hendricks is having a great practice against the Broncos. Two picks, Dos Picos, uh, the best off-ball linebacker in the game. Uh, Will Rag, it's good. The things seem to happen for the Vikings offense at a much higher rate when Ole Udo is a right guard than when Dakota Dodger is. Ab, ab, obv, obviously. Uh, Kellen Mond hitting Warren Jackson. That's right. Warren Jackson revenge game. That's right. And there was some pushing and some shoving after this. Oh, getting wide open. It, it's not a pick route. It's a rub route. <laughs> Man, they lost him. How, how do you lo lose a six foot six two thirty dude that used to be your teammate? I don't get it. I don't get it. Warren Jackson's looking pretty good. Uh, scuffle between uh, Minnesota O-line, uh, Denver D-line, and red zone after New Vikings. Which, oh, Warren Jackson. Former Bronco, revenge storyline, scores a TD, second one on this field today. Uh, so is it the second Warren Jackson TD or is it the second scuffle? Probably second scuffle since we already talked about one. Uh, the Mike Boone went down, could be a hamstring. Unfortunately, they carted him off, which really sucks. I love me some marvelous Mike Boone. Uh, then lastly, ISM comes down with a fourth touchdown reception from Jake Browning in a drill against the Broncos where the Vikings began the drive from the 25 down six. Another solid day by Smith Marset. And Zimmer's been hard on Smith Marset. Said they asked to improve special teams if he want, and wants to make the team. But you, you know something about Zimmer? He doesn't trash on bottom of the roster guys just to do it. Like if he expects more out of a player that he thinks that's going to be a key part of this team, then he'll say something. And I think that ISM is going to be that dude. And then he'll take all the feedback the way that it was intended to be. And I think that ISM is going to be a hell of a player in this league. But that's it, man. That's it. That's the end of practice. We talk about practice. Uh, what are your thoughts and our thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support that work post on the Venmo. But until next time, Skull, production value.